Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am it's Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing the series finale of Marvel's Runaways, which is season 3, episode 10, called Cheat the Gallows. So we start off with, it's June 14th, 2028, and Chase does a speech and talks about Gert, and then he disappears with uh, some type of thing, and then we go to 2022, where Carolina's with a new girlfriend. And Molly is the head cheerleader, and she'll be graduating soon because she's a senior. And then we cut to where Lace is still nice with Molly, and Molly is still in the mansion, and Chase stays in isolation in his room. And he won't come out, but he does kind of talk to Molly like face to face. But um, I think it's like the anniversary of Gert's passing, so they want she wanted to actually talk to him and actually have a meal with him, but he said no. Then Alex is doing great. He has his own like um, foundation type thing. Um, I think it's called Wilder Innovations. And he's doing great apparently. And he's also helping Chase with, um, with the project that he's working on. Then we cut to Whirr. Uh, so Nico is levitating and um, she was about to send a text message to everyone that she's back in town because apparently she's been gone for three years. But then Alex uh, sh um, opened the door and shot at her, but she stopped it. And then future Chase, Chase stopped him and they gathered the others and basically he, we found out that a um, explody type weapon went off in Alex's office, but he did survive that. Then Alex talks to the, I don't know what that is, I said GF. Oh, future Alex talks to uh, Carolina's girlfriend, there we go, and but the game is to stop him, but he didn't actually hurt the girlfriend, he just kind of, she, he knocked her unconscious. And then we cut to where he did another time job, time jumped. And then Chase said that he they went to the beginning, at the very beginning of this whole series, where they're like in the school, and basically they need to guard the past selves. And then um, we cut to where Gert has a lot of dialogue in this, where she's like helping, you know, she's very, with her, back to her feminist um, ways, like um, just preaching about and trying to start the club, and that whole type of thing. And... Kurt says she will help Molly with the dance team, and then Alex, I thought it was after future Molly because like he had like a glowing knife thing and went after her, but then we he got Maeve, and then the Alex that we see in the past is being the super class, and Nico doesn't help, and Ramiko, future Nico doesn't remember that at all. And um, then Alex and Nico see future Alex and they go after him. All the future ones see Alex and they go after him. Then future Chase says Gert from the bullies and asks for a hug. She said no. And he said, why do you have a beard? You didn't look like that this morning. And that was that cut. And he's like, oh, I'm doing audition for that play over there. <laughs> he tries to recover and then he sees future Alex and they goes after him. And then, um, <laughs> kind of says too much, but like, um, like I said, he's on Future Alex, and they get to the bus. Then past Alex showed up on the bus and saw fu uh, Future Alex, and then Nico put everyone to sleep and wiped their minds, because everyone went, what is happening? <laughs> then they take uh, Future Alex to the gymnasium, and then the slightly older Alex, but the Alex from 2022, <laughs> is in the gymnasium and talks to Future Alex. And, you know, um, have like a weird conversation. Then Alex goes back. And then future Alex warns them about Chase saving Gert, but everyone wants to go um, to save her. So they go back and um, future Alex bails. And so Molly goes after him. Then Nico talks to future Nico and basically said, trust Carolina. They made her forget that she saw future Nico and disappeared. And then Gert helps Chase. And then, um, let's see, Morgan's back. And then you have um, 
Deidre Chase is getting the Fistagons by knocking out his past self. And then Molly sees Alex, like I already said, and he's like leaving something about the computer. He's doing something on the computer. We don't know what. Then Chase steps in for Gert. And then Future Chase got um, hurt because of Morgan. But he did manage to close the circle. And Morgan got sent back. And Gert is, like I said, it's okay because she did hit a freaking um, wall and got knocked unconscious. And so um, Chase went bye bye. And then. Uh, the future is being redone, and Future Wilder left a note to to off Nika and started his innovations and that type of thing. But he didn't really pay any. It's like I didn't write those, and just kind of then they just kind of walk off, and that was pretty much the end of the episode. Um, I gave this a, a plus just because I thought it was a good, nice, good send off. I they also left the door open for future seasons because I feel like when they actually recorded this, I feel like they were like, oh, we might go to season four. We don't know. So I thought it was interesting. That's how they left it because obviously I feel like they um, want to leave a couple doors up because you don't know if they're going to come back or not in a type of new way or are they done done. So, um, but I would like to see what would happen in like current 2022 uh, and to wait what happened like are they okay like did anything change from what we saw so apparently all of them were like in college or doing like really well so I thought it was really I thought it would be like really interesting like what would happen in that year so but I don't know if like I said they're going to come back or not I don't I doubt it but you never know so I mean it's on Halo and Disney owns Halo so I don't know anyway <laughs> I thought it was a good episode. The fight scenes were really good, and I like how they use like time to like jump through stuff. I thought that was really cool, and um, I thought it was a great episode. And um, I think overall the series was pretty good. The first season was kind of what the f am I watching a little bit, but seasons two and three were significantly better than the first season, like significantly better. Um, I really really enjoyed it. Um, I think this season, I, I like want to give it like a B plus. I think overall it was really good. It still had some like episodes or moments I was just like, no, just absolutely not. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I think overall it was really good. Uh, I like the character development, how Chase has gotten um, a lot better. He's not as a, much of a douchebag as he was in the first season. Everyone's characters have evolved and like how Alex finally mastered the staff to the point where she didn't need it and she buried it far away and she found a master, which I thought was really cool. And um, I just thought it was super interesting and um, they actually looked their age in um, <laughs> the um, actual um, 2022. They actually looked their age, so I thought that was also pretty cool. So um, anyway, I liked it. I thought it was a good series overall. I'm kind of sad it's over, but at the same time, check one off. So, um, I just want to share this moment to talk about what's going to be coming up on the channel. Oh, my battery's dying. That's fun. Okay, so, um, Sarah Moon Crystal, I'll be wrapping that up. Um, let's see, by the time this comes out, um, I should be started on Sword Art Online again. Um, Sarah Moon Crystal should be will be wrapped up um, soon and I'll be, I'm working on Fultron, now I'm working on Sailor Moon, um, the actual, the original TV show and I'll probably be doing Jessica Jones sometime soon. I have no idea when. I'm pretty sure I recorded like at least the first two episodes of season three but um, didn't go around to finishing it and then I also got Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And as far as the DC and other stuff, I got to finish up my makeups for those. But, um, like, The Flash is season three. I think I'm working on and stuff. Anyway, that's what I did for this video. So, this video, please go to like, comment down below, comment what shows you want to see on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll start the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.